how to sell sales excellent how to become a great sales person that's what we're getting ready to talk about right here in this video what is up underdog fam my name is Zachary Babcock welcome back to the channel where we level the playing field for underdog entrepreneurs to rapidly scale their business to six and seven figures if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you want the best tips on how to win as an underdog entrepreneur hit the subscribe button tap the bell notifications and we are getting started right now my name is Zachary Babcock what is the livelihood of every single business sales and marketing if you don't have that in place you don't have a business and there's nothing wrong like so many people put this negative connotation on uh, 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 sales like oh, I don't want to be that snaky salesman or whatever no it, like you just said that's bullshit man it's it's if you have a legit product or service that can enhance the lives of other people that can imp give them improvement that can give them growth that can help them uh, it is your moral responsibility and obligation to serve them at your highest degree and to get them to to purchase into your product or service, man. So I, I love that you mentioned that because, you know, like you said, a lot of people veer away from that and, they're, and they kind of steer away from that. But, dude, once you believe in your product and know that it's the shit, dude you won't have a problem doing it. So like what were what were some things for you like did you did you face that fear of sales kind of ever in your oh, career? Yeah. What, oh yeah, no I I have a running joke with my best friend. We we were friends in college and he's like, "So what do you want to do when you graduate?" I was like, "I don't know. All I want to do is nothing that has to do with sales." <laughs> you know, I don't want to do sales. Fuck sales, you know, sales are stupid. I don't want to be a salesperson. And then, you know, then I started doing different jobs and I couldn't make any money. You know, it's like, "All right, I got a degree and I'm not making any money." And then I started seeing the guys that were driving nice cars and their families. I'm like, what's this guy do? Oh, he's in sales. All right, he's in sales. All right, he owns his own business. I'm like, oh, shit, I got to do sales. <laughs> so then it was like, you know, then I got to start learning. And then it was like, but like you said, it's like once you find something, you know, it's different like when you're doing sales in corporate America because you might not believe in the product. and You're like, oh, this sucks. I hate this kind of sales. We've all had sleazy salesmen try to sell us something. You're like, dude, you're this sucks. I don't want to buy this. But like if it's something you're passionate about and it's your product, and it's your thing, man, it's so easy to sell because – if you don't sell it, you're, it's a disservice because that person needs what you have. I love that. You know, I get it. Like, I was the same way. I did not want to sell. I felt like a, like a parasite. I felt cheesy. And a lot of that was because I was selling products that weren't mine that I didn't believe in, that I didn't care about early, early on, like in my teens and early, early 20s. And then once I started doing my own stuff though right once i got out of network marketing and uh started doing having my own sales and products stuff that i really believed in i was still i was actually shell shocked because of the whole network marketing experience everybody was like no 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 it's a pyramid scheme and that kind of like shook me shook me up for a while and i was scared to actually sell myself and then once i got mentors that helped me realize my potential and i started believing in myself again and seeing that my products were really valuable my product service were really valuable and could actually help people help improve the quality of lives of another human being that's when I went out and started dominating and that's how you become a beast at sales um, and if you want a beast at ramping your business up to six and seven figures definitely check out the growth engine blueprint the link is in the description below you definitely want to check this out there's video tutorials and uh, wor interactive worksheets that you can download step by step on what a growth engine blueprint is on how to I, I attract your ideal uh, customers audience and how to craft compelling offers that they want and are willing to buy how to publish engaging content that gets them into your relationship funnel and the relationship path how to structure your offers and what I call a nested offer design it is fire definitely check that out if you want to check out the full interview with me and Paul be sure to check it out it's in the description below uh, if you're it's on iTunes if you're an iPhone user that link is in the description below and if you're an Android user it's on Google Play that link is in the uh, description below as well and if you want to check out the show notes and listen to it on the website, underdogempowerment.com, that's in the description below as well. Pick your poison. Pick your, uh, pick your favorite way to check that out. And I will definitely see you on the next video. Until next time, I can't wait to see you winning as an underdog. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. It's that underdog empowerment. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. My name is Zachary Bell.